Okay, thank you, Rippler, Mike Rippler. I'm your play-by-play -play man, your host here for today's presentation of the Back Alley Ball. Eddie Apples, we see locking up here in our opening contest, Bones Dudley, and of course, Damian Cass is uh, one-third of the new breed. We've been following this story here on the Back Alley Ball. Bones Dudley trying to join the click, if you will, of the new breed. New breed did what nothing to do with him. Bones came out time after time after time trying to uh, help the new breed to uh, gain their trust, if you will, and, or their acceptance. And time after time, Bones caused New Breed members to lose their match. New Breed made it quite clear they did not want Bones Dudley in their organization. And Bones finally got it through his skull. And what he did was he orchestrated an attack on the New Breed by the cat, not, excuse me, the Casanova click. Of course, now this is all leading up to this match, this uh, opening contest. What a way to start the back alley brawl. This grudge match, if you will, between Bones Dudley and Damian Cass. You can see these two individuals have already taken it outside the ring. They're out here on our hard floor. This is uh, no give on this floor. It looks like Damian Cass is preparing to slam Bones down. Ran him into that steel support beam and uh, deposited him not so gently down on the floor. Wrestling fans, uh, Whew. Like I said, what a way to start today's back alley brawl. Unfortunately, our cameraman's not able to follow some of his action that's going on. Dudley just deposited back inside the squared circle. <laughs> Dudley asking for uh, mercy for Damian Cass. I don't think he's going to find any here. Cass unloading with a series of kicks to the chest of Dudley. Sets him up for what could be a butterfly suplex there. Up and over he goes, rolls over. Count of one, count of two. Now Dudley's got his foot on that second strand of rope. Uh, referee Bud Hatter, he sees it. Of course, that does call for an automatic break. Wrestling fans, uh, we've got a big show here for you today. Coming up next, there will be an IWA World Tag Team Championship match. And then later on today, our main event, a weapons legal street fight for the heavyweight championship between Sheikh Abdul Hassan and the champion Marcus Dillon. And what a match that should be. Dudley, that neck ringer, he's going up on, yeah, it looks like he's going up top. He's on the second strand. Yeah, he is up on top. He balances himself here. Comes across that high flying crossbody. Count of two, and that's all he's going to get. Wrestling fans, don't go away. We're going to take a pause here. We'll be back with more back alley brawl action right after this. All shapes and sizes, this is your opportunity to become part of the fun and exciting world of big-time professional wrestling. The International Wrestling Alliance, Ohio's own homegrown Major League Professional Wrestling Organization, is offering you this unique opportunity. Call today for an absolutely free tryout. Okay, back to action here. This match between Bones Dudley and new breed member Damian Cash. You can see it's Dudley dropping that leg across Cass's throat. Wrestling fans, you are watching the Back Alley Brawl. We are the official television show of the International Wrestling Alliance, Ohio's own homegrown Major League Professional Wrestling Organization. We want to thank you for checking us all out. I want to remind you to come out and check out the Back Alley Brawl as we uh, take these television shows here in Columbus each and every Sunday at 1333 West 5th Avenue. Doors open 1230. Matches start about 1 p.m. So 
Uh, come out and check out the great live professional wrestling action there in Columbus each and every week. And be sure to check out the International Wrestling Alliance anywhere we, be, we may be going, whether it be Columbus or Cincinnati, Dayton, Cleveland, Chillicothe, Lancaster, Circleville, wherever you see that IWA name, you know you are seeing the best in professional wrestling action. We want to invite you all out. You see Cass unloading with a series of slaps on Bones Dudley and... Of course, uh, there's uh, quite a bit of animosity between these two as Bones has cost Damian Cass and Trevor Dole and even Marcus Dillon wins here. There, a big slam by Damian Cass. He's able to score the pin here. The winner of this match is going to be Damian Cass. What's going on here? Oh, oh, no one's fooling anybody. That's the Casanova click under these masks, under those masks. Casanova click once again attacking the new breed members. Rusty fan, someone's got to do something about this. We got to get out of here. Look at Dudley setting him up for something here. Oh, ah, big kick by that. Rusty fan, don't go away. We'll be back with more mad action right after this. Boys and girls, it's 8 through 18. This is your opportunity to become part of the fun and exciting world of big time professional wrestling. Learn the holes and the counter holes of professional wrestling. Be seen on local television and amaze all your school friends. Don't miss this big opportunity. Call today for an absolutely free pro wrestling tryout. Okay, wrestling fans, and we're into our tag team championship match here. This match uh, already underway as Suicide Solution jumping the team of Kid Quick and John Blade. Even before the bell rang, you see a Quick quickly turned it around as he uh, just planted Big Dan Devers. Quick turning into his tag team partner, Blade, who uh, unloads on both members of the Suicide Solution. Goes biohazard outside the ring. Wrestling fans, this has really been uh, already here, kind of a wild day here on the back alley brawl. The very first match, Bones Dudley, Damien Cass, that grudge feud continuing to go on. A uh, sneak attack here while he's waiting for this match to start by the Suicide Solution. Quickly reversed by this uh, team. Oh, look at that maneuver there, this team of John Blade and Kid Quick. What a move we just saw by Blade, and he might have been able to get a pin there if it wasn't for uh, the uh, quick maneuvering of Biohazard coming in to help his partner. Now Dan Devers went low with the shot to the groin. You hear our fans here in our TV studio hollering for the suicide note, which of course is the finishing maneuver of the tag team champions, and they just dropped Blade into suicide note, ramming his head into the... That's got to be it. One, two, three. Now you have it, wrestling fans. The uh, winners are still the IWA World Tag Team Champions. That's Suicide Solution. Wrestling fans, uh, don't go away. we got a lot more coming up here with the big... That's why we're the tag champions. We get the job done. Yeah, let's do a side solution for you. Got a big main event coming up here after this next brief message featuring Sheik Adua Son challenging Marcus Dillon for the heavyweight championship in a weapons legal match. You're not going to want to miss it. Stay tuned, Matt Maniacs. Okay, Matt Maniacs, you're watching the Back Alley Brawl, the official television show of the International Wrestling Alliance. The Back Alley Brawl is taped each and every Sunday at the IWA Television Studios in Columbus, Ohio, located at 1333 West 5th Avenue. If you're enjoying all this crazy, wild, insane mad action, we want to see you at the next IWA Television tapings. Coming down to the ring, carrying a garbage can full of weapons. You see some crutches in there. It looks like a strand of barbed wire. Who knows what else? It's, uh, who knows?
says what all the sheiks got in that trash container. That is not a plastic trash container, that's a steel trash container. You can uh, assume that that's going to be used as a weapon as well. All right, she got to do a song on today. This week on the back alley brawl, you and a funk house weapons match against the IWA champion, Marcus Still. This is not no Texas American garbage. This is a lucky one-up match. Whoever wins will be the man, the champion of the IWA. And I tell you what, you have a shot of her. We can do her. Well, the Sheik's spouting off his usual rhetoric. And his opponent, now coming down to the ring, weighing in at 250 pounds, from the borderline, he is the IWA heavyweight champion, Marcus Dillon. Hey, wrestling fans, you can see the music coming up for, or hear the music coming up for Dillon. And Dillon's bringing his own assortment of weapons to this match, including a street sign. Wherever he got that from, Dylan uh, very proudly sporting that IWA championship belt that he won from Will Miller just a few months ago here on the back alley bra. He's also sporting a new uh, look, if you will, face painted in a, a dark overtones of black. Don't know exactly what that's trying to uh, signify. The sheets of the Get belt there. Not yet, Sheik. You're going to have to earn that belt here in this weapons match here today on the back alley. Bro, wrestling fans, we've told you before this is not a WCW, this is not the WWF. This is the IWA Ohio's own Major League Professional Wrestling Organization. Just about anything goes here by order of. The owner, Chris Kaz, including weapons legal matches. You'll see those too often on uh, television shows by other promotions. And the Sheik, I guarantee you, is going to take this weapons match maybe to another extreme as he's going to do his best to capture the championship here today on television so that all the fans can see it trying to get referee Bud Hattery out of the way. And the referee serves very little purpose at a weapons legal match. Obviously, everything is legal. The referee's there just simply to award this match to one or the other. Across the ring goes Dylan. Hit with that pie pan in the face. I think that pan did any damage to Dylan. I can't wait to see what some of these other weapons are going to do. The Dylan and the Sheik, both, both these individuals are, uh, well, let's just say they really don't care for each other. They, they've had a few run-ins in the past, and the Sheik really been talking a blue streak about wanting to capture that IWA heavyweight championship belt and put it around his waist and possibly take it back to Iraq. Dylan whipping the Sheik across the ring, follows up with a big stinger splash. Looks for some sort of weapon. He's got a lot to choose from. Once he got there, he's got a, another pan. Sets the Sheik up. Oh, my God, just ran that metal pan into the head of the Sheik. And the Sheik, uh, well, Sheik looks like he's got a torn crotch. Oh, brother, only here on the back alley bra. Dylan setting the Sheik up here for something. At this point in the match, oh, I was going to say, the sheik, uh, Dylan pretty much had it all his own way, but the Sheik went low. He's got that barbed wire. And what's he going to do with this barbed wire? Probably left over from the barbed wire match we had here on the brawl a few weeks ago, and he's, ran, he's got that barbed wire, and he's raking it into the head of Marcus Dillon. You can see it's stuck in the hair of Dillon. Sheik unloading with a big punch, knocking Dillon backwards. Okay, oh my God, it looks like Sheik's gonna try to pile drive Dillon into that metal trash container. He picks him up and drives his head right down into it, and that's gonna take a lot of steam out of the champion. Dylan going for a pin, gets count of one, count of two, and oh, no, Dylan's able to, excuse me, Sheik was going for the pin, Dylan was able to kick out at the two count. You see some of our fans here in attendance getting a little 
High strung over this contest. Sheik with the chin lock. Funny to see the Sheik with any kind of scientific maneuver, especially in a contest like this where all these foreign objects are in the ring and are legal to use in this weapons legal match. No one picking the Sheik up. Obviously, there's a lot of bad blood in this contest, more or less stemming from the Sheik, who I believe would personally do anything to get that IWA championship belt strapped around his waist. Oh my gosh, Dylan just rammed Sheik's head into that trash container. And what a phenomenal story has Marcus Dillon been this year, practically out of the IWA wrestling school. He's still training up there on a weekly basis, by the way. And now he's setting up. Oh, ran that baseball bat right into the groin of the Sheik. Still training up at the IWA facility. And within his first year of actual wrestling, captured that heavyweight championship for Bull Miller, who held the belt longer than anybody else in IWA's history. So what an accomplishment by Marcus Dillon. But he's got his hands going here this week with the Sheik. Now you hear our fans here in attendance yelling that they want blood. We, uh, we here in the IWA, we, we draw a different breed from time to time. These are hardcore wrestling fans that attend the IWA wrestling events. Now the Sheik uh, winding up. Sends that crutch across the back of Dylan. Fans yelling for blood a little earlier. This is a weapons match, anything legal, so it's quite a possibility here that the claret will be flowing before this contest is over with the Sheik setting Dylan up. Gets that pull, he swings that and misses. And did you see the first the Sheik swung that? Clutch was literally torn uh, into pieces. Dylan able, luckily, able to get out of the way. Sheik's head just thrown into that steel support beam. I guarantee you, wrestling fans, that's one of the beams used to hold up our gymnasium, our TV studio, if you will. And there is absolutely no gift. That is a solid beam. Dylan set the Sheik up once again, put that metal plate on top of his head, dropped his leg down on top of it. We're about eight, eight and a half minutes into this contest, and it's lived up to its expectations so far. Dylan. Going for the street sign, he sets it up in the corner. Oh my God, Russ, this, this could be it. Where did he get a street sign from anyways? Dylan, taking the sheet to the far corner, rams his head right into it. Well, that could have been the uh, iceberg that sunk the Titanic, if you will. We're going to see here as Dylan rolls him over, covers for the pen, gets count two, and no, that's all he's going to get. You can say what you want about the Sheik. He's uh, a nasty individual from time to time. He's definitely anti-American, but he is one tough hombre when he's in that ring. Sheik coming up, but he's coming up with a barbed wire, and he rammed it right into the crotch, the groin region of Marcus Dillon. Sheik uh, pulling around that barbed wire. Maybe he's trying to put it in a different predicament or a different position here. He once again rammed Dylan into it. <laughs> We're gonna do maybe a pile driver. Now picks him up, power slammed Dylan right onto that barbed wire. <laughs> Wrestling fans, if you're a little squeamish, I wanna apologize. This match uh, had all the makings of a wild brawl from the very beginning, and of course it's living up to that in every way possible. Sheik once again ramming that barbed wire into the back of Marcus Dillon. And the Sheik with the ball bat, and it looks like he's trying to put the barbed wire around the ball bat. This can't be, no, he can't do this, wrestling fans. And, oh my God. You could break a man's back like that. He hit the Sheik hitting Dillon right in the back with that ball bat. Oh, oh my, a hefty bag. Come on. He's gonna try to smother him here. Wrapping that hefty bag around the head of Marcus Dillon, obviously an attempt to cut the air supply off to the champion. Oh, 
the Sheik Wrestling fans. He is a crazy and maniacal individual for sure. We've seen quite a bit of him here on the back alley brawl. I can tell you, I tried to interview this man. He's uh, not the most pleasant individual to be around. Sheik with an iron. Rammed it into the head of Dylan, and Dylan really looks like he's in trouble here. Sheik with a very lackadaisical cover. Count of one, count of two, and uh, he ain't gonna get it. Sheik some short chopping blows to the forehead. Got something here. He's trying to shove down Marcus Dillon's throat. And the last several minutes of this contest has been all Sheik Abdul Hassan. As he's been literally mauling Marcus Dillon. And we may see a new champion for this match is over with the Sheik. Riding that clutch across the ring, jumped onto the back of Dillon. He's really been working on the back of Marcus Dillon ever since he hit him in the back of that baseball bat. Excuse me for being quiet, wrestling fans. I really don't know what to say. I'm just letting this action speak for itself. It, if it's professional wrestling or not, I don't know. It's done inside of a wrestling ring. This is more suitable for an alley at 2 o'clock in the morning. Give me the belt, punk. Well, the Sheik telling Mike Ripple to uh, get the belt ready for him. Randa, well, he tried to hit him with the, that trash can. He hit that steel sign. Trash can rebounded off and actually hit the Sheik in the head. This could be Dylan's break. You can hear the chant of USA coming up from our fans here. Once again, oh, what's going on here? Dylan putting that steel trash container. He might, oh, is he going to do a suicide dive over the ropes? It's a patented maneuver by Marcus Dillon. He did a headbutt. I, I looked, I don't know what was, that was all about. He could have done more damage to himself. I think he was trying to complete a suicide dive into a body press and actually turned into a headbutt. Reza fans, I, I know I said it earlier in the program. I want to say it again. You're watching the back alley brawl. I guarantee you this is the wildest wrestling program you're going to find anywhere. We got a lot of big things in store. I've been talking to Chris Cass. A lot of big things in store for you wrestling fans here in Ohio. We are your professional wrestling organization. We're looking to move into a bigger facility, uh, a better television show, and you're going to see a lot more crazy action. It's been real hard for us to introduce ourselves to you wrestling fans in Ohio with this half hour show. We're going to try to move it to an hour. We're going to bring in a lot of special effects. But when it comes right down to it, we're still going to give you this core, this great professional wrestling action like you're seeing in this weapons legal street fight. The Sheik just ramming that steel pipe into the head of Marcus Dillon. And I'm sure that's going to cause a concussion. The Sheik with a, a ending with a pan. Oh my God, wrestling fans. Once again, I do want to apologize. If you tuned in here expecting to see Luthez or Jack Briscoe type wrestling, you're not seeing, seeing it in this match. You're seeing a mugging, a brawl. Sheik looks like he's ready to clean house here. I don't know how uh, dangerous that was. It certainly would be humiliating. And I'm sure uh, Dylan would feel humiliated if he hadn't been mauled already. Now the Sheik choking Dylan across that second strand of rope. Wrestling fans, we only got about three, three and a half minutes. Oh, wait a second, who's this masked man in the ring? That, this mass, that's that hooligan character that was on here a few weeks ago. And he's interrupting in this match, sending some punches, knocking the Sheik out. Is he going after Dylan? No, he, he left Dylan alone, but he knocked the Sheik out. I don't know if the camera caught it. He had a roll of, of coins that he just... Quite obviously, just showed everyone after, and he's leaving the back of the building. We see the owner, Chris Kaz, and Mike Ripple with the note that this mysterious masked man handed him. P.S. Hooligan. Dylan obviously upset. I gotta apologize for our camera being out of focus as this mask man really threw everything off balance here. Chris Cadd's out here. But nobody played on this. Pulling in our mask man or whoever the hell is to come here. 
There's no way that he could have won. There's no way he could have won. We're calling this a no contest. This is going to be settled later. And what I'm going to right now, who is this guy? What is this dumb Mike? This is the second time that this mass idiot has come and ruined my name event. What's going on here? What's he got? Another note? What does it say, Mike? Well, I'm reading over what this note says, and I must warn you, I'd get the censor button ready if I were you. It says, uh, it's like I said, Peckerhead. What? There's what are you telling me? That's what the note said. That's what the right I'm not there. a Peckerhead. This is my company. I'm not what? Keep reading. There's nothing you can do to stop me. Now you can go back to picking your... You know what? Or in picking my ass. Picking your... What? Nobody tells me. Nobody tells... I have other people to pick my ass. Nobody, I don't think my ass, keep reading. Whoa. They look the same to me. Expect no peace. See you soon. Find T.S. Soon. Looks like this strange individual has a score to settle with you, Chris Cass. I don't know who this is. I don't know who you are, T.S. Hooligan. Nobody comes in here, interferes in my main event, screws up my promotion, interferes with my wrestlers, with my champion, and my main event that makes me money. T.S. Hooligan, I'm telling you one thing. You better show your face. I'm tired of seeing you here. I'm tired of reading your notes. I'm tired of Mike having to be your errand boy. You better be here soon. You and I are going to talk about it. I'm sick and tired of your little run-ins and interfering in my matches. One day soon, you're going to have to show your face to me, and we're going to have it out face-to-face, man-to-man, settle this thing once and for all. I'm tired of it. We've got a show to run. We've got a promotion to run. I'm tired of you screwing things up, and we're going to end it right here, right now, Mike.